Hello Year 9 and welcome back to Food Technology. This lesson we're going to be looking at a ragu sauce. That's basically a tomato based vegetable sauce and it's dead useful to know how to make one. We're going to be using it later on to make a pizza base um, but you can use it for the basis of all sorts of chilies, spaghetti bolognese sauces, all sorts of things like um, cottage pie bases. So it's a dead useful, very simple sauce to be able to make. So as I mentioned, the base of the sauce is going to be tomatoes. So you will need a tin of tomatoes. I've got a fresh tomato here that needed using up. <coughs> I've got some chopped onions. I've got some mushrooms that need using up. Um, I know in the recipe PowerPoint it's got leeks and garlic. I haven't got those in the cupboard at the moment, but I have got a spring onion. So it's using up the vegetables that you've got hanging around that may be a little bit past their best just to use them up. So the basis, you do need some tins of tomatoes. You're also going to need a stock cube and some flavouring. Because ragu is uh, mainly a Mediterranean type of sauce, we're going to go with the Mediterranean herbs like oregano and basil. I'm going to spice it up with some crushed chilies as well. So the first thing that we are going to need to do is to prep our vegetables. Our onions are already done, so I'm going to set those aside for later. The tomatoes we don't need to do too much with. We're not going to need to use the peeler this lesson. What I am going to do is chop up this tomato. So remember you are going to be using your bridge hold and your claw grip to safely chop your vegetables to make sure you keep your fingers well away from the knife. Also must make sure you have washed your hands. So remember the bridge hold, you're making a tunnel with your hand and think of the knife as the train that's going through the tunnel. Make sure your knife is the correct way up. Okay. Now because this is going to be a sauce, you don't need to chop your vegetables too finely because they will break down whilst they're cooking. So remember our project is all about vegetarian food. I will give you an alternative if you want to add meat or other alternatives in there. The same with the um, mushrooms, just go with your bridge hold. You're just roughly chopping this. You don't need to go too fine with your pieces, okay? Any other vegetables that you have at home, it's just a really good way of using them up and making them into a really delicious and healthy sauce that you can do so many things with afterwards. Okay, and for the spring onion, if you've got a leek or a piece of celery, anything like that, I'm gonna use my claw grip Make a claw with your hand, so tuck your fingertips in away from the blade. If you've got carrots, things like that, you'd use your claw grip to chop those up. I've washed and trimmed this spring onion already. Okay. So that's our vegetables prepped. I'm going to move the camera over to cooker. So the recipe says you are going to need one tablespoon of oil. So I'm just going to put about one tablespoon of oil in there. And it shouldn't take long for that to heat up. I'm now going to add my onions in. If you were going to add any extra spices or anything like that, you would probably add them in in the frying stage, in the first frying stage here. So you're going to fry off your onions till they are cooked and you're going to know when they're cooked, when they're nicely golden brown and they smell cooked. Okay, that should start sizzling any moment now. I'm going to put my spring onions in there as well because they're also part of the onion family and they can start cooking. Try and brown off your vegetables first before you add your tins of tomatoes because that's what's going to give your sauce its flavour. Once you start to caramelise and brown off the onions, all the natural sugars in the vegetables, they start to caramelise and that what's, that's what gives you your lovely flavour later on. So don't skip that stage. You will have more time to do this at home. I'm going to put my spring onions in. So 
wait for those to get nice and brown and golden. I'm going to go in, once that's done, you're going to go in with your other veggies, whatever ve other veggies you've got at home. Okay, it's quite a nice way of like hiding vegetables in a sauce as well. You've got carrots, anything like that at home, that can go in. So you would brown those off till they're a bit uh, more golden brown. If you wanted to add meat, like mince in there, you could do at this point as well. If you were sticking with our vegetarian theme, because our theme for our lessons in year nine is all ve beef vegetables, you could use uh, meat-free mince, so you could use soy mince or corn. Okay, so give that a mix up in there. I'm going to add my tin of tomatoes. You could use something like a masher to break those up as well, but they will break down with the other vegetables once they are cooking off. I'm also going to put crumble in my stock cube here. So this is my stock cube. I'm just going to crumble that in. If your sauce looks like it's going to be really, really thick, uh, you could add a few tablespoons of water or about 200 ml of water. That's fine. So just crumble that in and give it a stir in. And then we've got our Mediterranean herbs as well. So we've got our basil. If you've got fresh herbs, that's fine. You're going to use a little bit, well, about the same amount. Half a teaspoon of basil goes in there. Got our oregano here. So I'm going to go in with half a teaspoon of oregano. You shouldn't need to add any salt because there's a lot of salt already in the um, stock cube. So some crushed chilies. I'm only going to go with quarter of a teaspoon because I don't like it too spicy. Okay, and you can mix that up and you would leave it to cook gently. You turn the heat down, now it's come to the boil. Try and break up those big pieces of tomato, but you'd leave that to cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes over a lower heat with the lid on making sure it's bubbling if you wanted to get rid of the lumps and completely disguise the vegetables you could go in with a blender just as you did with the leek and potato soup very much the same skills that you were doing with the soup okay you can see that's blipping away quite nicely there so you'd leave that for a while just to let the flavors develop once you've got your sauce cooked what we would normally do in the lesson, we'd blend it till it was smooth and then we would freeze it in portions ready to do our pizza recipe a few weeks later. Once you've got a ragu sauce like this, if you add beans to it, you can turn it into a chilli. If you put mincemeat in there, you're going to be ending up with a more of a spaghetti bolognese type base sauce which can be used for cottage pie, all sorts of different things like that. So a ragu sauce is a really useful thing. Um, it uses loads and loads of veggies, it's really healthy, um, it builds on the skills that you've used for the vegetable soup as well. So give it a go, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing your uh, photos or videos of what you've managed to do at home. If you can't manage to do it at home, write out the recipe, suggest alternative ingredients, explain to me why it's healthy, uh, explain to me why the processes are being done in that lesson, why you're using those tools and equipment. So have a go and good luck.